Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be part one of reworking your Jeep TJ wiring harness to adapt for your LS swap. And one of the first things we're going to do, most of the stuff's going to be gutted. And we're going to reuse some of the circuits for something else. But to uh, rework it, the first thing we're going to do is remove all the wire loom, all these plastic connections, get everything right down to the wires. Because the only thing that's going to be left are these plugs right here those ones and a few other circuits that we need so let's get started let's just start removing everything and once we get everything naked and then we can start stripping so much of this factory tape must have been a freaking union worker now oh, let's just pull out of there The first part of the harness is all stripped. That's the one that has the transmission control module attached to it. This is your injector drivers, water temperature, and O2 sensors. Making a big mess on the floor. Gonna start doing the second leg, which is transmission control, alternator, and everything else. Now we can start gutting about 75% of this harness, I betcha. So, you guys can see I left this part of the harness intact because I need the fuel pump. This is the transfer case shift indicator. This is my vehicle speed sensor. It's going to be for my speedometer. But everything else, I need to start going through and gutting. So the first two plugs we're going to get rid of is this black one which was never connected into anything and an o2 sensor one we're going to cut them back enough and then feed the harness through and those ones belong to the same leg as the injector drivers so i might utilize that ground again so this ground is tied in i'm gonna snip it off and then I want to keep some of these wires, so, or the plugs I should say, so I'm just going to cut them off enough, and then start weaving them through the harness, of course, tracing them out where they go, because you're not going to need them no more, find out where their exit's going to be. First one goes back to the square plug. It's the ground of well, that one trace back to a bulk connector. This one here joins into two, which connects to another O2 sensor plug. And then this one goes into there. We're gonna snip that one off. And then this harness will go into the main one. And we're just going to snip them off right there. This one is water temperature out of that same leg. And we need to keep that one because we're going to reuse it. Most likely shorten it a little bit. The next branch I'm going to remove is the fuel injection harness. Now I'm going to cut the green wires right across here. Just because you may still need that circuit somewhere else. And these ones here will probably go to the computer plugs. We'll cut them shorter. So I'm going to cut the drivers. And these wires right here should go all the way to the ECM plug. So that's exactly 
where those ones went. So what I'm gonna do is just tape them up like that, just so that I know that they were all together, and snip them off shorter. Now I'll just cut this green wire, and the ejector driver, our ejector harness is out. So now I got this tree, which consists of intake air temperature, map sensor, and another miscellaneous plug that was never hooked up on my Jeep. I'm just gonna cut that off there and pull the wires through. So I left it with these two. The one wire joined up to this plug, goes in the gray one, and this one here goes into the computer harness, which we're gonna snip. Now these two here, be for the O2 sensors, just gonna lob them off. Gonna cut that one at the tie-in, and then cut it off there, put it in the bag. This one here, cut it off there because it goes to that tie-in, and then right there, and then we're gonna follow those wires back. Most likely go to the harness, I would assume. Nope, oh, one goes to this plug right here. So I'm gonna terminate that. And that circuit's gone. Next one to remove is the idle air control and throttle position sensor. And this has got a wire that comes down here. So I'm gonna snip it off there. And then I'm going to snip that one at the base. And then I'm going to cut that mess right there, remove it. And I still got one more all tied in there. Once again, those wires are pulled back to the main harness. Don't need them. Just going to cut them. Gonna keep this thing and put it back in. This is my camshaft position wire. That's the one I was trying to find. The alternator, don't need that one. This is your coil and another O2. This plug here was never used on my Jeep. So I snip it. For right now, I'm gonna leave the transmission Harness plugged in for now. This is the next one I'm gonna remove is the last O2 sensor. And that wire just deleted itself. Surprisingly enough, there's probably a couple more. And this is another ground right down here. So cut them off right there. So let's just cut that out. That's your alternator plug is gone. The alternator for the Jeep is regulated through the computer with the LS swap. I do not have to worry about that. So this wire here goes back out to this main plug. So it's probably like a, an exciter wire almost. I bet you there's 12 volt power to there to ex excite the coil in the field. Now, this is your camshaft sensor. This um, black and blue wire is your ground. It's going down there. Two of these wires we're going to, or one of the wires of this is going to be reused for the 
Tac emulator, which is probably going to be this one right here, guaranteed. So I'm going to actually tape that. Just right on that, that's for the camshaft. I'll verify, make sure that's where I need the pin out after. So if you have an automatic transmission like I did, the 4.2 RLE, these body grounds go down to the harness so you can snip them off. And they may actually come in handy later on. I might reuse it. So these are the last ones we're going to remove before we start doing some testing on the harness. This is your coil pack. Gonna remove it. And this is um this one right here that I'm gonna reattach is spliced here and then spliced again here. So probably just gonna make one wire run for that one there. So this is the coil plug. I thought I removed it, but apparently not. So this little connection right here ties into here, <coughs> goes to that plug, we'll reconfigure that. These three wires will go directly to the computer as so, as with all the other wires that have been snipped. So this is where I'm going to need to do some cleaning up afterwards. This blue and black wire here is your ground. So you can see it comes down to here, splits off into this mess, which goes to that plug, follows it up, goes to another joiner right here that goes into the computer harness. <clears throat> now, of course, I'm going to clean this up, so we're going to have to splice and dice it. But one more circuit that I'm going to remove, this is my oil pressure, I need that one there. This is my ignition. <coughs> that one is traced down, this brown wire that goes into there. But the uh, last one we're gonna pull out for right now is the crank position sensor. So the crank position sensor, we have a ground right there that I'm terminating. This orange wire, I believe is my five volt wire from the computer if i pull that back it goes right to the harness i'm pretty sure that's what that one is and then the wire i'm probably going to need for the tack emulator is this one right here that i'm going to tape and mark and verify afterwards all right everybody it's time to shut her down i probably confused you quite a bit like i said once this is all done, 75% of this harness will be gone. The next step is going to be hooking it up to the power. There's a few things we got to figure out yet. Um, one is the neutral safety bypass. So the ignition for the starter right here will work. I need to figure out um, if there's a brake interlock wire that goes to the transmission wiring harness. So we could use that for the torque converter lockup for the LS swap. And also, which wire, if any, will correspond to backup lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You're probably just confused of everything I've been yanking out. But uh, it all makes sense in the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.